Hey guys, I heard the show has a new theme song. Well... You love, you love the show. The show. You hold. You hold. Like yo. Like yo. Let's flow. Let's flow. And go. And go. Kill go. Kill go. Jump rope. Jump rope. No hope. No hope. Ask cat. Ask cat. You're fat. You're fat. Brownies. Brownies. Green peas. Green peas. You have. You have puppies. puppies. You want to flow with this? You'll have to buy a fish. Now won't you laugh ah, with ah, us? Ah, we ah, always ah. fight and cut. And people love our stuff because we're ripped and buff. Now please just sit right back. We'll make your mother cat. Hey, hey, hey yo, yo. It's, it's the Patrick, Patrick and Ben show. show. Hey, hey, yo, yo. yo. The, the Patrick, Patrick and Ben show. show. Hello. And welcome to our show. Last time on the Patrick and Ben show. I heard there was this haunted cabin up here. Beyond our vanity! Well, look, a cabin! Oh, shit! Warning you better fucking listen to this Uber homage. The cow is ill help. The cow, 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 the cow died. I guess you suck. Ed. Um. Howdy. Hi. This is, um, episode 8, I guess. Look at, I bought an emo sweater. I'm this, cool this, now. this is, um, Episode 8 of the Patrick and Ben show. And, um, yeah, we called it Nude in a Towel. So, uh, hope you enjoy this this episode, yeah. We tried to do it a bit differently. It has more of a story kind of to it. It's about this, this, like, weird fat guy. And he has a handlebar mustache. And he lives in a cabin. And, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I hope you enjoy Yeah, so, I hope you enjoy the tone. This would be the trombone tackle box. Trampoline jump. These fuckheads are jumping on the trampoline. <laughs> They're gonna get in shit in a minute. We're gonna run away. That's pretty much how this is gonna go. Right? Yeah, shoe throwing. Yeah, I saw that, th that shoe throwing right there. I know. I don't want to get in trouble. They're so deckheads, dude. Would you, would you honestly go out and jump on a trampoline in front of Broadway? Yeah, I would do that. I don't want to get in trouble. Like I know. Especially in broad daylight. Why do people I know. What about police guy coming back? <laughs> Is there a guy coming? Oh yeah. I don't know. 
They're running. Oh. Okay, so um, we appear to have lost Ian and that other kid who I don't know his Jacob. name, Jacob. Um, we saw them run away from the trampolines when the guy came, but now we can't find them. What does Sean have to say? I don't know, man. That's their house right there at the basketball. That is Jacob's house. We were supposed to meet them up there, and they never came. We saw them run away and stuff. So then Pat's like, okay, let's go. And we just walked nice and easy because we were in trouble. And then we came and they weren't here, so we were going to go look for them. Yeah, I guess. Well, it's my brother. I don't want to be like, raped by some old trombies on there. <laughs> Curse my enemies forever. Let's let our wrists and burn down something beautiful. This desperation leaves me overjoyed. With fading lights that lead us past the lives that we destroy. There's those two people, they may know where they are. Yeah, there, there's Lindsay and Laura. They might know where they went. Where'd they go? Where did they go? Huh? Getting changed. It fell in like the Jake mud. Like, us in the mud. <laughs> where? There's no mud on you. <laughs> we saw them run away. And where'd they, they go? Did they? Well, a little bit. Are yeah. they coming? Yeah, I thought they were. I thought they were going to Jake's house. I thought they were going to They all muddy. Uh, you got a good shot. Okay, so we're going to the that kid's house, Jacob or something. We're gonna see if they're there. There's the house. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> They have a lot of garbage. That's probably because they're fat. Anyway. There's a nice barbecue over to the left. Free. Okay. So we're two sides now. We're going to see if they're in here. Hey, is your brother here? Uh, no, he's not. He's not? No. Do you know where he is? Uh, I think he's at Amber's. We were just with him. When did, when did he say he was going to Amber's? Uh, I don't know, but we ha I haven't seen him for the past two hours, so... Okay, we were with him, right? Okay. And we were doing the stuff for the show. Okay. And then, Ian and... Ran away. So we came up here, and they're not here, but we saw them run away. So, and this was the meeting spot. I don't know. Um, uh... I think he's over there, but I'm not sure. Okay, well, we'll go check. Okay. Thanks. Uh, you do <laughs> Who's Amber? Do you want to just be go up to Jacob, Jacob there? You do it. Okay, will you tell him? Yeah. Do you think he's here? Maybe, I don't know. Who's Amber? I don't know why he'd be here though, because we were just with him and told him to go to his house, so why we come here? But we didn't even say go all the way to his house, we're like, we'll meet you on the way to Jacob's. I know. We, didn't, we thought they'd like run the corner and just walk. I know. That's weird. It's a weird adventure. <laughs> it angers me though, because 
Yeah. Like I said, just sitting there and telling me that. You won't clean the fish, you won't clean the fish! <laughs> clean those damn fish. Thanks. Yeah. Maybe they're asleep. Or maybe there's no car you got here. Hopefully she answers the door. I hate when people answer the door that I don't think are my age. Let's leave. Yeah, we'll leave. Bye, Amber's house. I don't know you. Look how pretty she is when she falls down. Now there's no beauty in bleeding mascara. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> well, there's this car, and there's a trail of green from it. It's like, it's like grass. It's like, <laughs> but it's all stuck to this trail under the car. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> That's a weird tree. That is a Harry Potter. That is a Harry. That's a Harry Potter tree. <laughs> that reminds me. That's of a Wampin' Willow. <laughs> to demolish you. It's like one of those leaves. It just like grab that one of those leaves over your mouth, and you just like. And it would throw you. <laughs> and you just be like. Okay. <laughs> Where are they, man? And the guys like just got him to sit down, like. And he's like, call, I'm gonna call your parents. Like at school, if you get in trouble, they'll take you to the office. And sometimes if it's bad, they'll be like, call your parents. And then if your parents aren't home, they'll be like, what's the work number? And I'm like, what if they did that? What if the guy like, sat them down in like, the upstairs office or something? And he's like, I want your parents to come pick you up so they can see you good. Or if like, your parents were here, so he's like, I'm gonna get a cop to come up in a squad car and take you home. And maybe you won't come back and leave us again. Because they've done it before, right? Yeah. Like Ian and his friends have done it. Like, this is the second or third time they've done it. I and mean, the guy yelled at them every time, <laughs> and they just come back. Yeah. Well, if it's the same guy, or someone else sees them, they're gonna be like, oh, those kids did it the other time, too. And then, you know, probably just freak out, because he's there, and he's just like, <laughs> I don't know, I do. Guys, this would probably be, if we got home, and Ian was taking home the cop car, because he jumped on the trampoline, my mom would just say, <laughs> and Ian just say, and then my dad would be like, not very proud of you, son. I'm not proud at all. But not in that voice, because my dad doesn't talk like that, and my mom doesn't talk like that, and my brother would just go, yeah, and die. Anyways, there's Chalmers, as you see by the big yellow sign. Chalmers talk about me just spotting those fishing, hunting, have big licenses. <laughs> and all that crap. But that, imagine this is some sweet action movie. That's like the, the, some building and we're like Tom Cruise in that shit. Sure. Then we have to get a good view. Yeah. So I'm Tom Cruise and I'm just like, I'm Tom Cruise. And then that seagull is like a helicopter and they're just like patrolling <laughs> the area with their gun guys sitting on the edge. And then anyways, that's a secret ninja base. And my brother and his friend are helping. We're being helicopter. So maybe we should check. Maybe we should. Should we film it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> I'll just like hold the camera down. <laughs> Dude, like, maybe we should just peek in the door. Yeah, but what if some guy like, you go in, and it's like... Dude, the worst that will happen is we'll get a good shot for this. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> then we run away. <laughs> do you want it? I don't care. I don't want to get in trouble. Neither do I. But I don't want them to be in that crap, because <laughs> they're like, in there. They must be... <laughs> They haven't been anywhere else, so they have to I know, we, we, we looked everywhere. Okay, okay, this is our mission. This is where we dub in the cool music and we run across the street and put it in either really slow motion or really fast motion. Slow, slow, slow. Okay.
We don't know how this is going to turn out. Could get messy. Or maybe they're just sitting there trying to play some gay game on us. But we don't see them just with a... Okay, okay. Here's, you know, listen, listen. If we don't see them with just a quick bypass, maybe we should look for evidence. Like a what? shoe or something. Okay. Okay, first we'll, we'll take our, our walk by. Hopefully we didn't hide them inside the freaking pot machine. That'd just be angry. I don't have a dollar, even water's a busted. Oh wow. Okay, well I didn't see him. into the depths of Trombley's tackle box. Okay, go. We went in, and I don't know, Pat might have filmed me walking in, but then he turned the camera off after because he didn't want, like, people to think it was suspicious when we walked over the cameras. I don't know. Just, we didn't want to piss anyone off. So we walked in and we looked around. Some people looked at us and we pretended that we were shopping for looters. We talked about how they were so expensive. But we liked this other thing. It's true. And, stuff. and then this one old guy watched us the whole time we were in there. He might have been a manager or something. He was in a special shirt. Nice shirt. Oh, it looks like he'd been there a while. Quite a while. And we walked around. And all sent to my eyes. We walked around and like looked at some stuff. And we didn't see the minnows. The one room with the minnows and crap. I don't know if you heard me there because we've done There's a room with the minnows and things. And we heard someone talking there, but we just didn't walk because we're done. We didn't need to. We really don't think that they're like in there. Like they wouldn't keep them. And be like, you're in trouble, you're staying here. Because that's dumb. You can't do that. So against the law. It's always jumping on on bot trumpet. Anyway, we stayed there and we didn't see them in their pockets. Didn't see them, so we left, and then the old guy stared at us. We were going to do this cool thing, like in a movie. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to show Sean walking back out of Trombley's. I was going to walk in the door, and then instantly walk out the other one, and we were going to stop the film, and we were going to get cool and stuff. And then we walk out the outdoor, and then I was going to go back in, and Pal was going to stay there and film. But then the guy, the manager guy, the old one, he was standing at the exit door, leaning at the exit door, looking at us and stuff. So I'm just like, nah, I don't want to do it. And Pal would be like, no, it's fine, we didn't do anything. We just walk in, look at the house, and then come out. I'm like, yeah, I don't want it. Yeah, it's all. We just walked over here. Yeah, so we have no leads as of right now, so I think we should go back to Lindsay's house. We should. We'll, we'll go back and we'll talk to Lindsay and that other muddy girl. But they're probably changed right now. Actually, for all I know, they're swimming naked in the pool, lesbian and stuff. Which is good, so let's just get over that. But we didn't see them in there. There's, there's not really any reason why they'd be in there still, because they can just leave. They're not like. So we're almost back to Lindsay's house now. And we need to um, interrogate them over where the hell those kids are. Because we seriously don't know. Like, seriously, we, we don't know where they are. We didn't go in the fish room and we didn't go upstairs. But why would they be upstairs or in the fish room? Yeah. We don't know where they are. <laughs> this is all pretty strange right now. After this, I said we should go back It's to making us a good story. Check the answer machine. Yeah. There's a message. Mom, I'm going to come to the trolley. And I'm just like, Regine! And, I'll, and then I'll like put a beard on and be like, son, I hate you. <laughs> okay. So I should try to beat the fake news. You guys should like, out of here, man. <laughs> Is that the doorbell? <laughs> <laughs> hey, dog. Is Lindsay here? <laughs> put your shirt on. Game in the mix. They're here! Are you filming? I put numbing gel all over myself. Wait, I rubbed numbing Dude, gel on both of my nipples? What are you doing? <laughs> what? We, we went back to Charlemagne to look for you, Cap. We thought you were like in trouble. We, like, we were in trouble. Then we ran away. Yeah, we don't have two nipples. Because we booked it. They give us four nipples. We booked it and we thought you were like stopped. I'm like the road. It's like corner. It's like gummy. No, we were after this time back here. 
Where were you guys? Where were you guys? We'll get some cookies. Where were you guys? We're looking for you. Wait, like, where? Did you go back to our house? No, we went back to Charlie's and we walked to Charlie's and this guy stared at us. They're putting the lemon gel on there. Come on, come on, Pat, come on. Well, our adventure's over. We found the boys. They were hiding in the closet. I'm like, I'm That's so weird. Is it numb? Mm -hmm. oh, and where is it? <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet. Put that blue stuff in your lips. They put this numbing gel there. I'll show you it. I'll show you it. It's just like... <laughs> and they rubbed on one of their lips and then they kissed. And it got on both of their lips. <laughs> is that right? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What? No, it's cold? It's weird. It's, it's right. Penguin. Okay, we need a moral for the story. A moral for the story is... Don't do drugs. Good moral. I'll show you the moral. I'll show you the moral. <laughs> the moral is... If you ever go to Trumpies and jump on the trampoline... Just hamsters. Don't run home behind the closet. Because you come to the closet... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's just funny. The hamsters there. <laughs> Why are you all the Get the hell out! <laughs> I just show them the moral of the story. Don't hide it. So we're leaving her house now with um one last moral in our minds. This will be the third moral of today's story. If you're gonna make stupid shows, make sure you know where you're gonna meet your friggin' actors after they're done running away when they get in trouble from old faggots. The end. Yell the end and then make a noise. Okay, that was good. Take one. <laughs> Slow mo. Let's go. Go, you can cry. Hey, that's me with my feet and my toes and my he doesn't need his name up in lights, he just wants to be heard, whether it's the beat of the mic, he feels so unlike everybody else alone, in spite of the fact that some people still love what they know, he knows the code, it's not about the salary, it's all about the quality and making some Conserve his status for still even in starstruck Humble to a lot of teenagers given despite the fact That many misjudge him cause he makes a lip off from writing rats Put it together but What the hell? That's what you get for freaking me out Self, got a picture connects Never ask him for someone's help You have to get some respect He's only one for someone to know What his will is beyond reach And now we're all on the road This is what you know it takes This is what you know it takes This is what you know it takes Sweet. Spitting fire and Mike got him out the dryer. He's hot. No, he's just going to make me this stuff. The fucking Nile is pretty fine. He's a fool. He's a cop. The type that would be good. He's been shot eight years. Dead. Now he's in the cold. 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 He's in the cold.
Don't burn me. Stop. That sounds like funny shit. Stop burning me, please. At the time, at the time, you said you needed it. Am I gonna be on YouTube? Yeah. Uh, you're dead! <laughs> 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 They're just walking in front of it.